Happy Zelda Month, everybody! Super Milesio here, and yes, you heard it right, Zelda Month has officially begun. Actually, it began about two weeks ago, but I've been super busy working on this new edit computer, and that's been going great. Delete. Oh no. Anyways, I'm planning to get out three new videos for Zelda Month alone. One of them might be pushed into December, but hey, that's Zelda Month tradition, you know? Anyways, as you can see, I'm a hopeless materialist, and I've amassed quite the collection of merchandise. And if this doesn't prove my obsession and, quite frankly, dependence on Nintendo, I don't know what will. It occurred to me, I've never gone through my entire Zelda collection. Heck, I've probably even forgotten half the stuff I own. So what better way to kick off Zelda Month, albeit two weeks late, than by making myself regret all the money I've ever spent on the franchise. So for the purpose of this video, I'm including any figures, toys, games, and posters are also fair game. So let's do it. All right, first up we got Zelda books. So, got this Breath of the Wild manual. This is what I use to get all the shrines in the game. Wow. Hyrule Historia and Arts and Artifacts that collection. This little Zelda notebook that I never drew anything in. Wait, I did. I drew an Eevee. That's, That's weird. weird. The entire Zelda manga collection right there. Oh. Yeah. yeah, here's one. I don't even think I finished all these, but I bought the entire set. Of course, the Twilight Princess manga, that one's new. This is a nice uh, Zelda map puzzle. I have a video of myself trying to decipher the Hylian language on this puzzle. Ah, uh, memories. Zelda Monopoly. I don't even want to know what the inside of this box looks like. I'm never going to find out. Look at this thing. Twilight Princess. I don't know, it's not Twilight Princess. Yeah, wow! Yeah. Look at that. Let me know in the comments if you know what each one of these swords is. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to all the posters that I have plastered over my walls. I have a lot of posters. I got this Zelda figure, which I totally didn't open and put back in the box. Okay, this is definitely the coolest Zelda figure I own. Look at this. I got this for like $17 at GameStop. He's got, he's got shield and sword and everything. Look at him, he's Skyward Sword Link. That's my second favorite Link. If you're paying attention on this channel, you'll know what my first favorite Link is. <laughs> Got the Ocarina of Time. See if I can play something on it. Heck yeah, I did. Yeah, look at all the fingerprints on that. Uh. Probably can't see. I just have a bunch of random Zelda stuff, like, I got this can thing. I don't even know. I think I use this to carry thumbtacks. I don't really have much in the way of Zelda plushes, except for this guy. And he's missing all of his accessories. When I was a little kid, I was like, I thought I was gonna be cute. I took a friggin' knife. I was like, hey, let's make all of his accessories detachable. And I cut off everything, and now, now I lost him. I won't count this as a poster, because it's not really a poster, but it's... It's a nice little tapestry. Word of the day, kids. We got this Zelda calendar. Wow. Okay, this is actually a pretty cool look. So I crossed off every single day in January and February. Look at that, March 3rd, Nintendo Switch 2017. That makes me real happy. Cause look at that, I even got Zelda on my Switch. Wow. So as far as Amiibos go, <laughs> Here's all my Zelda ones. I won't spend too long on these because, I mean, they're just kind of... Everyone knows what Amiibos look like, right? You know what Amiibos look like. Just got Zelda. We got both Link's Archer, Rider. We got the Bokoblin and Daruk. So basically all the original Breath of the Wild ones. Wolf Link. Found this at a uh, Goodwill. I was lucky. And then by far my favorite Breath of the Wild Amiibo and Amiibo in general. The, the Guardian. Look at him. I mean, look how cool this guy is. You can twist his legs and everything. This provided me with countless seconds of fun. Oh yeah, I got this uh, Majora's Mask watch that I've totally, totally worn. worn. And I know some people wouldn't necessarily consider Zelda games to be part of a collection, and to be fair, they're not merchandise, but I'm including them because this is my channel. I do what I want. 
since I have all these games, let's go ahead and go through and do a little mini top 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 list. Top 7 Zelda games. Go. Number 1, Breath of the Wild, obviously. Number 2, oh god. Number 2, Skyward Sword. I love this game with all of my everything. Number 3, might surprise some people, Twilight Princess. I love this game. Number four, it's honestly a tie between these two games. I really love both of them. If I had to pick one, Majora's Mask. Five, Wind Waker. This game is amazing. It's not quite as good as the other ones, but it's, it's Zelda, come on. It's like asking me to choose between pizza and more pizza. I just can't, like, okay. And then this game can suck. So my Zelda collection totally includes things that I made myself, because I made this. I was super into paper mache a few years ago. What? Don't ask. And that was the time when I was high into Majora's Mask. Incidentally, Majora's Mask is the second Zelda game I played, the first one being A Link Between Worlds. I played Majora before Ocarina. And you know what? I'm not apologizing for it. I made this Keaton. 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 I made this yellow Pikachu wannabe mask, and I think it's pretty dang good. What do you think? <laughs> I also made this Link hat, which is now way too short. I actually used this in my first ever Zelda movie on my old channel. Actually, that's a good Zelda month idea. I should react to that old video. Three, two, one, go! Leave a like on this video if you want to see that, because I sure don't. Alright guys, enough of the filler items, enough of the lame stuff. Let's get to the goods. Are you ready for my all-time most prized possession? No! Here it is. I'm just kidding, it's, it's this one. So I actually have two Master Swords, yeah. This one I got first, places this I used for the prop in that very same Zelda movie. This one I got just last Christmas, and it's real metal, but it does get bonus points for coming in a sheath. Basically both of these Master Swords I was super excited to get and I was super excited when they came in the mail and then I looked at them for a few days and then I was just like, why? Comment down below which of these three swords you like best. Anyway guys, that about wraps it up for my collection. In case you're wondering, this was all collected in a matter of three years because I got into Zelda summer of 2015. So now you can see how I spent my last three years. Make sure to smash the like button on this video and subscribe if you're excited for more Zelda content. Oh yeah, and if you're interested, let's find out how much all this costs. And now that you've seen my entire collection, let's take a look at what it looks like in my room. Well, the part of my collection that's not stored in some drawer anyways. Now, if you care to open your eyes, you might notice I got a fair few- Whoa. I got a fair few amount. <laughs> I have quite a few Mario and Pokemon merchandise as well, so <laughs> maybe we'll take a look at that in a future video. So I added up the cost of my entire Zelda collection, and it totaled out to be $518.30. These two games alone bring the price up to $797.82. I'll just leave it at that. Thank you.